Howdy, Ursa Boy fans! It is time to get out your swimsuits, your sunscreen, and your favorite flotation devices because today we are going swimming. That's right, we'll be celebrating an amazing album by an amazing artist, one I truly love and I do already have in physical form, but I figured why not create and have it in wearable physical form. So yes, we'll be painting a one-of-one -one custom swimming by Mac Miller shirt and I'll be taking you through just how I do it. <laughs> So the real first step of creating anything is the formation of a new idea, but make sure you write it down or sketch it out because you may have a great idea, but if it's forgotten, did it ever exist? I don't know, but I did make some sketches. So I started off with some you know, ideas here and there because I wanted to make something for swimming. And you could see how this transformed into what I think is my final sketch. You know, as I uh, start painting and stuff, this might change a little bit, but it'll most likely look pretty much just like this. So I did fiddle around, like, as you see here, the idea of including Mac in here. So both of the designs, this is going to be the front, this is going to be the back, are based off of um, swimming and pool, like, signs that, you know, are on the side, like the no lifeguard swim with caution stuff like that so that's what this is based on and this is, was just a exclamation point but i figured this like just fits so perfectly that i wanted to include at least the window right there um and maybe mac but probably not because i just don't know how it's really gonna work because the shirt itself is pink and so is the suit but i think this is what i'm gonna go with so let's get out the supplies so all I'm going to be using for this project is firstly fabric paint. I got this set right here for like 10 bucks at Walmart. You can get some at any craft store or online or wherever, but this stuff works well. I've used it here on the channel in the past and it was great. Um, also some paint brushes because we're being painting. Probably not going to use all of these, but you know, at least some. And then I got some cardboard just to like lay on my beautiful Harley Davidson bed to not get paint all over it. And then most importantly, of course, is the G Fuel. No, I'm just playing. It's just some water. Ha! <laughs> Got it! <he>! Ha! <laughs> Got it! <he! laughs> um, but actually, most importantly, is our canvas. This shirt right here, I thrifted it. It's a vintage jerseys. It's uh, just a blank pink shirt, which is perfect, you know, because the pink. And welcome, Ursa Boy Universe, to the painting part of this video. Tonight on Commentary, you are hearing the voice of me, Ursa Boy, joined by very special guest, Ursa Boy. That's right, Ursa Boy. So the first thing you saw me do there was sketch it out uh, just using a pencil. And I just have to warn you to be careful because you can't really erase on t-shirt. So either just draw very lightly or just don't mess up. Agreed, Ursa Boy. The next step of painting this shirt was to, well, paint. At first, you can see I was just trying to get the design down without worrying about filling it in or adjusting it. As you see, I did have to do with the man flailing around in the water. Just a quick little adjustment because at first I didn't even plan to fill it in, but it just worked out perfectly. And Plus, I do think it looks better. It totally does, Ursa Boy. After finishing adding the waves to the front, it was time to add the text to the shirt, that being, and I quote, swimming by Mac Miller, end quote. I tried my best to measure it out, but I still ended up squeezing it in at the end, wink wink, but it came out just fine. Then after adding at least three layers of paint to each part, it was time to move on to the back. Indubitably, Ursa Boy, having multiple layers is crucial for the shirt to look its best, but also so it doesn't fade in the wash. Then it was back to the sketching board, now on the back of the shirt, even had to bust out the ruler to get the triangle just right, and then it was time to start painting again. The painting was going smoothly and just as planned until, watch out, watch out, watch out, oh, drop a paint out of nowhere. 
but don't be too worried. We will address this later on. It is time to keep it moving and finish up the back design. Wow, I can't believe that happened, Ursa Boy. But like you said, all you can do is move on and finish up the back design and add the text, swim with caution. If only it said paint with caution, maybe that wouldn't have happened, am I right? Ah, oh, that was a great one, Ursa Boy. But yes, just like on the front, tried to carefully just my well to to to, to, the, to the best of my ability <laughs> i measured and painted the text on the back and i think it looks just fine and then because this is a swimming by mac miller shirt i added the window that appears on the album cover into the exclamation point this time adding some other colors than just black and I think it gives a bit of a pop to the back the little bit of white and blue in the sky all right so at this point the shirt is pretty much done and actually according to the plan it is completely done but as we know in life things don't always go exactly to plan such as there's a couple spots throughout like right here the paint like seeps through past the lines or on the front actually I accidentally made the M's different um, fonts in the swimming in the Mac Miller but you know th those things you probably wouldn't even notice if I didn't point them out to you but there is a couple parts well a couple spots on the back that you would are definitely noticeable right here and right here and that's just from carrying over the paintbrush and you know a little bit dripped off and it was pretty disappointing when it happened at the time like man i've been really trying to get this all right and then i just accidentally drip a little bit of paint and boom shirt is ruined well no shirt isn't ruined this is just an opportunity because you know as the famous the lovely bob oh oops the lovely bob ross says there are no mistakes only happy accidents so this just gives us an opportunity to add a little bit more detail, a little bit more uh, character to the shirt and add something to cover up these little spots. And thinking about what I could add, I've landed on, as you see right here, to continue with the theme of the shirt, I, I think it fits, is clouds. And now you're back here with Ursa Boy and Ursa Boy on commentary. So now in true Bob Marley, oh, I mean Ross fashion, we are covering up the spots and freehanding some clouds. Now with the clouds, because of the white paint, it was especially important to make sure you had multiple layers going on some of them past just a few to maybe four or five to make sure the pink does not come through. Listening to the album, you hear that not every day out is some bright and sunny, perfect day for swimming. In fact, there might even be some clouds, might even be a bit of a storm, some thunder and lightning per se, and that's why I thought it'd be fitting to add just a little bit more color especially on the back and add some lightning to make sure the yellow and the lightning really popped against the pink color i added a couple layers of white underneath i think the clouds and lightning turned out to be not just a great way to cover up a couple spots but also carry on the theme of the shirt and well expand it plus add some color to the back and with that i am happy to say that the shirt is done it's not perfect, of course, but it was never supposed to be. It's hand-painted, after all. Here's an exclusive look of it on the bod. And I'd first like to say thank you to Mac Miller for, well, inspiring me to make this shirt, but also just inspiring me in life. And then a big thank you to you for watching and subscribing. And just remember, Ursa Boy loves you.